Little Moon, Story and Pictures by Megan Pedalecki. On the far side of the reef, everything was perfectly still. Everything, but not Little Egg. Down and down and down it went to the very deepest place. The little squid froze. Nothing here felt right. The cold was too cold. The dark was too dark. Even the water felt heavy and thick. She had a sinking feeling. She was lost. So the little squid set off to find a better fit, but did not get far. At first she didn't know what to do. She had never made ink before. Then she saw that everything made ink and things started getting messy. She swam off with a big gulp and an even bigger sigh. Many hours passed before she found anything, but when she did, it seemed strangely familiar. She blended in as if by magic and the crowd grew and grew She swam away quickly and did not look back. As night came, she wandered alone, but not for long. She joined the drifters in a silent dance until she was spotted. She wanted to be noticed, just not like that. When it was too dark to see, she could only think. She had come so far. She had found so much but she still felt lost. The little squid slumped into a sad ball. Then something above her urged her to lighten up. Under the moonlight, deep inside her squishy core, something sparked. She had a good feeling. Wherever that light was, that's where she belonged. But the moon slipped away and she was on her own again. Only this time, her world didn't seem so dark. So she dipped and flipped and charged through unknown waters. She zipped past clever hunters and faced many night creatures. Until she found the place that felt just right. The little squid was the brightest in her bunch and in the reef, and in the sea. They called her Moon, and she beamed on. Thanks for joining me. Let's read again soon.